Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Rex. I'm Daniel. He is a level three whiskey sommelier. He's a master mooch. And this, this is Johnny Walker Black. And <laughs> it's a little, this is a little embarrassing. It's about time. A little embarrassing. Uh, supposedly we're a whiskey review channel. And this is one of the most common whiskeys in the world. And we're just now getting around to it. Yeah, only 300 episodes in. So we have a gift yeah. from Bradley Quick. Bradley Quick, who was frustrated that every time we say, Wait. it's sort of like Johnny Walker Black, <laughs> we don't have Johnny Walker Black, we only have Johnny Walker Double, Double Black. Black. And this has happened like eight times on the this show. Is Bradley Quick. We're like, let's compare it. Yeah, this is Bradley Quick. Bradley Quick, you magnificent bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Have we not done this yet? So, no, we've not. This is the first time I've had it in the vault. I have no excuse for that. We have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of whiskeys. And we don't have Johnny Marker Black. We <laughs> Just double black. That's embarrassing. So, I'm true to my word, you lavish shit. Okay, so here's what happened. He commented, he said this. He said, Am I gonna have to buy you guys a bottle of JW Black for you to do a review of one of, if not the most popular scotch in the world? <laughs> Twice in your videos you stated you don't have it, just the double black. I'm totally willing to do it, just say so. And I said, bring it on, baby. Yeah. And he said, I'm on it. Yeah. On face on uh, YouTube, he's known as Lord Burgundy. Lord Burgundy, yes. I'm true to my word, you lavish, extravagant, ostentatious, well-respected bunch, bunch of, of pricks. pricks. <laughs> With that said, I would like to mention how incredibly hard it is to buy a whiskey and give it to someone for free without taking even one sip. <laughs> Torturous. So give a good honest review and I'll feel better for my altruism. Yeah. Uh, a big fan of the videos. I'm 21. Oh, nice. You guys are great mentors for walking people through the world of whiskey, being blind, ignorant, and overwhelmed with options. It gives me good knowledge, purpose, and direction. Thank you, Lord Burgundy. Lord Burgundy. I love right. it. All right, Lord Burgundy. We're well getting, done, man. Getting into it, man. All right, you ready? So I uh, have had the black before. But do you remember it? Because I don't. I rem Here's what I remember of the, uh, about the black. The name black made me think, before I ever tried it, oh, gonna be this right. is going to have some smoky, some character. It's a scotch. Yeah. It's going to have... And I remember it being really effortless, sweet, friendly, light... Here's what's funny to me. The green tastes like what you would assume the black should taste like. Okay. You know what I mean? And of course this is gonna be 40%. And the Johnny Walker green is the name I would attach to this taste. Okay. I you don't remember the green either. Well, we'll pour it, right? But uh, think uh, light peppery and citrusy notes. Let me ask you about the Johnny Walker red. Because- oh, the red, the budget one? There, if there was a universally hated whiskey and granted everybody has their own taste preferences mm -hmm. uh, but I very often see people start talking about Johnny Walker and they'll say well it's way better than the red and everybody will say oh yeah of course the red well I mean, it's the red I'll tell you why what's the deal with the red the deal with the red is that it's no worse than any other budget scotch at the same price okay but it's so much more popular more people have experienced Johnny Walker red than any other budget whiskey okay that's why Right. So everyone has a memory of Johnny Walker Red being their cheap budget scotch. Their cheap thing. Yeah, because it's that so popular. Everybody's a litmus, uh, a litmus test, everybody's bar of comparison. For well well scotch. Is starting it's like, at, hey, we're doing $2 well scotch drinks. It's right. like going to be Johnny Walker Red. Okay. Huh. Maybe so again, Chivas, uh, but probably I'm, I'm not getting Walker green Red. apple on the nose. Green, Maybe doers. Green apple on the nose more than I was expecting. Any kind of fruitiness from something called black. Now, this is a minimum of 12 years old. This is. And there's like 40, 40 malts in this. Really? 40. Well, so 40 single malts? 40 whiskeys. Just 40 whiskeys. Could be grain. Okay. Malt. From 40 different distilleries? Mm-hmm. Now, here's what's impressive to me. With that many, mm -hmm. this is a pretty cohesive flavor profile. No, no, it's, it's very... Uh, Rounded off and balanced, and but it's effortless. It's friendly. There's, there's, um, you're not, you're not having to do a hunting, uh, very much to really get it. For a budget blend, twelve. Mm -hmm. This is up there. Yeah, I think it's a. Uh, it goes into really nice background whiskey status for me. You absolutely own it. Reaching for it, but you're probably going to be focused on some other things. Okay, now the green is fifteen, because right? 
It but doesn't demand your attention, but it's perfectly nice. The green has more character. Perfectly nice for the budget that it's at. The green has more character. The green has more character. Oh, it does. It's not smoother by being older because it has other, uh, like, island and island distilleries in it. more honey and fruitiness out of the black. Yes, that's why I always think this tastes like, if I said that was Johnny Walker black and this is Johnny Walker green. That would make sense. Wouldn't you make sense? So, um, Roy always says forever he thought the words for gold and silver were backwards. And what when someone said that's gold and he saw silver, he said that's obviously the gold. Mm. And when he saw silver, he said that's obviously, or other way, when he saw gold, he said that's obviously silver belongs to that. Okay. Phonetically, he thought the whole world had them backwards. Okay. And uh, I get that. Phonetics are a weird thing in your brain. Mm -hmm. um, we do this in class, but um, if I draw two shapes, this is how your right brain works in patterns. One shape is this. All right? You just drew it. Yeah, I did. And one shape is this. All right. Now, one of these is named Tatakata, and one's named Laluna. Mm -hmm. Which one's named Laluna? Well, the curvy one. Yeah. Yeah. Right? That's insane, but because I just made up a shape. But and, everyone universally and knows. And made up a word. Yeah. And uh, which one's female? Well, the Laluna. Yeah. yeah, right? That's how your right brain works. It's all intuitive phonetics, right? So, and so when you say green, right. you expect something but there is more friendly. More when of, you say black, there's more character and a, more of a smoke note in the green. Mm hmm Yeah. That's why they have those backwards. Mm. Now, I think it's just because they the black already existed before the green would be my guess, sure. which I don't actually know. Uh, uh, and so they had to come up with another color. Okay. But phonetically, it should be reversed. Let's compare this to the double black. Because the double black actually finish the green. We'll pull no, it no, in the no. Same I'm not bottle. finishing the green. Because the double black actually has uh, starting to get some character. Well, because it adds some eyelid back. Starting to, to it. get some character. Why starting to have any glasses left. Starting to get a little bit video. of smoke. And I want to compare the green, which has more character and smoke, to the double black. There's the double black. More character. Which we've multiple times tried to convince people was the black. These are closer to each other. Uh, the double black and the green are closer to each other than the double black and the black. Yeah, but the green actually is more vegetation, more green and earth. Mm -hmm. This is more dust, smoke, and leather. Mm. Alright, now get the blue. No, not that. No. We've got another video to do. <laughs> Mom, I'm getting like a weird, like a metallic aftertaste on the double black. I think I like, of these three, I think I like the green. Oh, there's no question, the green is my go-to. Mm -hmm. If I had to pick any, any Johnny Walker for the price, yeah. the green... It's, it's all day long. Smokier. It's got more character. Yep. And but you can this, drink it neat. No but, need for whiskey. But uh, this for ice. is a Johnny Walker Black review. Circle back one more time. So starts slightly citrus, slightly peppery. Uh, palate is uh, slightly earthy and barley, but mostly just caramely. Yeah. And the finish is uh, basically just fruity. I see this one pop up quite often in uh, the whiskey tribe. People talk about whiskey. If you're curious to know what our community is about, this video up here is a good one to check out. I dig it, man. Yeah. I dig it. Yeah, this is taking a long time. You're taking We're a long only eight minutes in. You're taking a long time doing your job. Your, your mom. You know my mom. That's true. It is awkward. It, it's really... <laughs> The, the, when you know someone's mom like, like really minute. well wait and you're minute. gonna see them later, it's weird to say your mom <laughs> Daniel, we'll call her right now. <laughs> you explain to her why you're talking about her like that. Daniel Fenderson, I have been debating my next bottle. Shamefully, I must admit I have avoided old Pultani 12. Oh, that's a bad decision. Because it often sits among similar shelves and prices as some um, lower regarded yes. whiskeys. However, I'm not totally agree. He's now intrigued. Okay. Uh, he's going to make the next bottle, Oban 14, however. Oban 14 yes. is a $92 bottle where he lives. Yeah. Uh, he's read some But four. worth it. He's read some forums in which people compare the character of the OP12 to Oban 14. Yes. Would you consider these two whiskeys to be similar yes. in character? Absolutely. I made the same mistake you did, which was uh, until I had the old Pulteney, I didn't think it was going to be that good. I thought it was a budget brand name with a, you know, and then I tasted it. 
I was completely wrong. Well, and again, speak, going back to the names of things making you believe. Yes. It, the name Old Pulteney. It sounds like a budget it blend. It does. It sounds like. It's I don't know be... why. It sounds like it's going to be the Old Pulteney budget blended scotch. Right. Yeah. So go maybe ahead. I'm thinking Grand Old Par. I mean, which is a blended scotch. You're not reaching it. I'm no. Dude, we just went through three Johnny Walkers. I gotta pace myself. Still gotta earn my living today. <sighs> Israel, wait. They barely talked about the actual whiskey. Nine minute, fifty second video. Thirty two seconds talking about the whiskey. You haven't watched many of our shows. Yeah, you're new here, have huh? You? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On occasion, we will remember to talk about the whiskey. <laughs> what was the really long middle one? Because there was a reason for that. Justin Wiggin. No, no, no. Don't read the whole thing. Let me check it again. We'll just copy. Oh, no, no. It's actually... Yeah, read that one. We'll go out on that one because it's actually kind of funny. <laughs> Justin Wiggin. Dear Daniel and Rex, I decided to jump back to a much earlier episode to check out the Kualila 12 which I just picked up. It's only my second or third step into smoky whiskey and I'm loving my journey. Well done you. I did happen to notice something very odd though. Uh, not with the whiskey, but with you two. Mm -hmm. Daniel looked like he could have just stepped right out of that video, which was posted over a year ago, and stepped right into today's video. Whereas, yep. Whereas Rex looked... <laughs> it's the beauty of black v-neck t-shirts. Whereas Rex looked much less like an aging <laughs> Scottish terrier. <laughs> 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 oh, it's so good. Oh, the balls are so busted. <laughs> the balls are so busted. Oh. <laughs> and he looks. He comes more, full circle. He looks more presentable and approachable. Personally, I dislike that Rex look and much prefer the embodiment of the dude <laughs> yeah. you have drifted to and welcomed with open arms. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, it'd be great to slowly change some small things about your look. And yeah. see at what points people start to notice the difference. Yeah. Well, just so you know, this week I changed my underwear. Uh, just so you know, in a few weeks, I hear you're due to get some hair. Uh, I don't know what that's all about. But here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you're curious, it's in this video. Yeah. If you fight, may you fight for free. If you steal, may I steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, drop a question or comment down below.